using row covers very successfully in our garden to protect our plants against insect pests. When you're growing particularly in an organic system, it's really important to find non-chemical ways of managing pests. And excluding pests from the plants is one of the most effective techniques for that. Now, when we're just using a floating row cover to protect against frost, it's better to lay that uh, row cover directly on the plants. But when we're looking at insect control, we found that using a hoop system to support our row covers makes maintenance and management a little bit easier. We can also use the hoop system to support other materials for different purposes. So in the summer, we can use the hoops to support a shade cloth to cool the garden beds a little bit. And in the winter, we could put plastic over the rows to create hoop tunnels for winter crops. Let's look at how these are built. The first step in building our hoop system is to install rebar posts at about eight inch intervals along the length of our bed. We wanna drive that rebar in so that it extends about eight inches or so above the soil line. And we're gonna use that to support our PVC hoops. Now this is a 10 foot length of PVC and you could vary the height according to the crop. And we slide that over the rebar and simply bend it across the garden bed and over to the rebar on the other side. And just the length of that rebar sticking up is enough to support our hoops. This hoop system is very easy to install. It's also easy to remove if you want to take it out and store it when you're not using it. Um, another option is to leave the hoops in place and just remove the covering. But if you do decide to remove the PVC, uh, you're left with these rebar posts and since they're about the same color as the soil it's easy to trip on those and hurt yourself so what we like to do is just cut lengths of an old leaky garden hose and cover our posts up that way they're more visible in the garden now that all of our hoops are installed we're ready to put on our covering for insect control we're using a lightweight non-woven polyester fabric it's spun instead of woven and it lets the air and water pass through as well as the light and this is certainly not a one-person job you're going to need some helpers we've recruited brett johnson and mike adams to help us out here today and you're just going to unroll it the length of the bed now you can see we have a pretty wide um, bit of row cover this is about 12 feet wide and that gives us plenty of room to get down over the hoops and um, secure it to the ground as you're pulling out your cloth, you want to be very careful um, not to get it hooked on anything and don't pull too tight because it can snag fairly easily. Okay, but you do want it somewhat snug just so it doesn't get pulled away in the wind. Uh, make sure it's even so there's enough on both sides. And then we want to secure it. And I found these uh, PVC clips. Um, they're just little uh, three quarters of a circle of PVC and they work very well. They just snap on over the row cloth, over the PVC. Now you can also make some of your own. Um, you can make your own PVC clips or purchase those or you can make some with a garden hose and you just want to cut out a section so that you have a clamp. And again, this is going to snap nicely over the PVC to hold it in place. And we'll use clips all the way down to the bottom and then we're going to secure some of the extra and you do that by wrapping it around the bottom again the idea is we want to pull this taut but not too tight just keep it in place against the wind and another important thing is to make it tight against the insects we don't want to leave a lot of gaps so it's nice to wrap up your extras at the bottom um, and you can usually just kind of loop it through itself to tie it off once our row cover is secured to the posts, we want to secure it to the ground. And we can do this in a number of ways. Um, you can just simply dig a trench and bury it in the soil. Uh, you can also use heavy objects like bricks and boards uh, or even bags filled with sand to weigh it down. Um, you just want to be careful that you don't tear the cloth with the material you're using. So be careful as you put the, the materials on and remove them. 
Now, a floating row cover for insect protection works best against insect pests that move into the garden from an outlying area where they've overwintered. So this includes pests like aphids and white flies and leaf hoppers, as well as our squash bugs, our cucumber and bean beetles, and also grasshoppers. Other pests overwinter in the garden in the areas where they fed last season. So if we use crop rotation and move our crops from one area of the garden to another each year, then we can use our row covers to protect against those pests that overwinter by their host plant. Some examples include the Colorado potato beetle, the tomato hornworm, and flea beetles, as well as many root pests. So I've used that here uh, to protect my eggplants against a flea beetle and I've moved my eggplants from a different section of the garden. Remember, knowing our plants and knowing the common pests of those plants is the best way to design an effective pest management system.